Namaste all. How are you? I think all of you will be fine. Good. In a good health. Today in this video, I am going to talk regarding a topic on which since last one year, I have received more than 32 messages, comments and requests to do a video on this topic. Maybe because this is very misunderstood. And that is exchange. Exchange between two planets. First of all, let's quickly try to understand what is an exchange. When a planet, say planet A, is in the ratio of planet B, and this planet B is in the ratio of planet A, this is considered as an exchange. So say Mars in the sign of Saturn, Saturn in the sign of Mars exchange. This is exchange between the two planets. What happens with an exchange? How does it work? How does it behave? This is what we are going to see. And specifically, how does the like, exchange uh, works with regard to Dasha, Antar, Dasha, Transit, Yogas, and everything? This is what we will see today. And I don't know why this confusion. This is very, very simple. The first and the foremost thing that I should tell you is that exchange is a very important phenomenon. If there is an exchange in the horoscope, you will forget everything. You should forget everything and just keep an eye on that exchange. The exchange is the most powerful phenomena out of the five types of relationship that two planets can have with each other in a horoscope. Exchange is the most powerful of these relationships. Most important part is if there is an exchange in the horoscope, it will overpower everything of the horoscope and the life of the native, the fate and fortune of the native, the direction of the horoscope will go in accordance with the result of the exchange itself. First point that you need to understand is that this exchange is between, the exchange happens with, between two planets, and it is exclusively related to that Rashi only. This is something that you have to keep in mind very, very clearly. There should be no confusion in this regard. For an example, you see this horoscope. In this particular horoscope, there is an exchange between Jupiter and Mars. Mars is in the sign of Jupiter. Jupiter is in the sign of Mars. Okay. Okay. Now, strictly, directly, this is an exchange between the 7th house and the 11th house. You understand it? This is an exchange between the 7th house and the 11th house. Mars is also the Lord of 6th house. Jupiter is also the Lord of 10th house. But this exchange have nothing to do with the 6th house and the 10th house under any circumstance and under any situation. This have to be extremely clear in your mind. Okay. Another biggest confusion is the exchange between Jupiter and Mars. Does it mean that Mars have gone to his own Rashi and Jupiter have gone to his own Rashi? Of course, no. For God's sake, no. Not at all. Please, have some brains. When I was new to astrology, there was scientific temper in astrology. People used to question things. Nowadays, there are andhva. They have no brains at all, it seems. Let me guess, tell you something. You have learned astrology and you have never questioned your teacher about basics. Is it so? Why is there a confusion? Let's try to understand. Where is Jupiter? Where is Mars? The zodiac, the Rashi circle is of 360 degree. Right? Okay. 
in that 360 degree the calculation starts from 0 degree of Aries and goes up to 30 degree of Pisces making the 360th degree 30 degree every sign 0 degree of Aries to 30 degree of Aries 0 to 30 degree 1 degree of Taurus to 30 degree of Taurus is 30 degree to 60 degree 1 degree of Gemini to 30 degree of Gemini is 60 degree to 90 degree. Z 0 degree of Cancer to 30 degree of Cancer is 90 degree to 120 degree. Right? This is the measurement of the zodiac. In this horoscope, Jupiter is at 4 degree of Aries. Because the calculation starts from 0 degree of Aries, Jupiter is at 4 degrees. Whereas Mars is in the 10th degree of Sagittarius. Now to reach Sagittarius, starting his journey from 0 degree of Aries, Mars have crossed Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. He have covered 8 signs. All of these signs are having 30 degree each. So, 8 signs, 30 degree each. What is the answer? 8 signs, 30 degree each. 8 multiplied by 30 is equal to 240 degree. And further, after crossing this 240 degree that comes at the 30th degree of Scorpio, Mars have gained 10 more points in Sagittarius. So, Mars is actually at 250th degree of the zodiac, whereas Jupiter is at 4 degree of zodiac. Now, by what measure, by what calculation, by what time, time travel, by what time machine, by what Pushpak Viman, will this Mars, leaving aside all the rules of astronomy, trigonometry, <laughs> gravity, and everything, will just jump to his sign, Aries, which falls from 0 degree to 30 degree of the zodiac. Leaving the sign, Sagittarius, where he is actually placed, which spans from 240 degree of the zodiac to 270 degree, 260 degree of the zodiac. How? Sorry, 270 degree of the zodiac, 240 degree to 270 degree of the zodiac. How it can do? But yeah, planets cannot do time travel. Neither they can jump. It is a linear uniform motion in which planets go. You are saying that I am in Delhi. My friend is in Canada. That means I am in Canada and he is in Delhi. What a useless point. Before asking such questions, before thinking this certain way, have you lost your mind? Just pause for a second and contemplate on your query. What is your question? Contemplate on it. It's an absurd question. Mars have done a time travel. And Mars have set on an aeroplane. Mars have set on Pushpak Vimar and reached to Aries. Somehow God knows why. There is a law of motion. There is there is a law of motion in astronomy. There is gravity of the planet. There is a path for the planet. There is something like that or not. So don't get confused on this part, please. Okay. Exchange. If there is an exchange in the horoscope, that is very important. You should see that horoscope. You should see that exchange very carefully. As I have already told you, planets have mutual relationship with each other. In my personal experience, the worst planet in a horoscope is a planet without any relationship. It is like a person who is left alone in the society having no relationship to anyone. The planet who is in no relationship with any planet is the worst planet of the horoscope. There can be no planet more bad. There is no planet more troubled. There is no planet more problematic than this planet. 
the dasha antar dasha of this planet is pathetic like anything this is the worst period worst ever period this is the most malefic bad result giving planet which is having no connection to any other planet there are four types of connection the first connection and the most powerful connection is the exchange the second connection least powerful than exchange is a planet getting aspected by his rashi lord a planet getting aspected by his rashi lord the third type of relationship weaker than exchange and the aspect of the sign lord is mutual aspect two planet aspecting each other the fourth type of relationship which is weaker than all the three before is two planets sitting together and the fifth type of relationship which is weaker than all four of these told before is any two planet placed in mutually one four mutually one, mutually uh, one seven mutually four ten mutually uh, five nine to each other okay the first relationship of exchange is the most powerful and the fifth relationship of planets being placed in mutual kendras 14710 and mutual konas 159 to each other it should be very clear to you a planet which is not having any type of connection in the horoscope is the worst most pathetic planet that planet his dasha antar dasha etc is very pathetic very problematic and gives all kind of problems this is written in no book this i am talking about all from my experience of 12 years of looking at horoscopes and teaching more than 70 courses and making more than 50 students established astrologers and teachers even teachers of many other institutions have came and learned with me to improve their teaching skills. right so just talking from my experience okay now the exchange in the horoscope is primarily seen with respect to houses the exchange is between which two house the house the other house lorded by the planet is of no use whether the exchange is good or the exchange is bad remember that first fourth seventh 10th houses are kendras first fifth and ninth houses are konas an exchange between a kendra and a kona is very good very auspicious very prosperous that gives rise to raj yoga which gives prosperity name fame power status authority money ease of life comfort and happiness to the native this should be very clearly understood however seventh house despite being a kendra is also a marak house death in afflictor so if the seventh lord goes in exchange with any of these other houses first house fourth house tenth house fifth house or ninth house other than giving the raj yoga results it also gives some bad results as well should be clearly understood another point is regarding the bad houses which is the third house 6th house 8th house and 12th house mutual exchange between these bad houses third lord and 6th house 6th lord and third house 6th lord and 12th house 12th lord and 6th house 6th lord and 8th house 8th lord and 6th house etc the mutual exchange between third 6th 8th and 12th house is an exchange between two malefic houses this exchange i will not see i am just talking of my experience in my experience i will not say this is good i will neither say this is bad this is a normal exchange where person gets good result from the bad circumstances and bad situations in his life certainly it does mean that one will have to face bad circumstances and bad situations in life first and only after suffering through it for a long time when the dashantar dashain positive transit comes which support the exchange 
वन विल बी एबल टू यूज दैट बैड टाइम एंड बैड सिचुएशन फॉर हिज बेनिफिट एंड मे हैव सम गेन्स आउट ऑफ इट वेर एज द एक्सचेंज ऑफ थर्ड सिक्स एट एंड ट्वेल्थ हाउस लॉर्ड विद एनी अदर हाउस is very pathetic and very problematic such exchange is taken very bad such exchange such exchange is a very bad very pathetic very troublesome exchange which is hell broke loose the pathetic i will come to it later on just finish the last set of houses second house in 11th house are the two houses which deals with wealth second house and 11th house having mutual exchange with each other is good brilliant makes one of the greatest dhana yogas makes the person very rich affluent have all kind of prosperities in life extremely rich now understand third sixth eighth and 12th house lords are bad if the second and 11th lord which indicates finances comes in an exchange with any of these houses the financial condition goes into trouble whereas if the lord of the second house and 11th house goes into an exchange with the lords of first fourth seventh and 10th houses kendras or with the lord of first fifth or ninth houses konas it is not akin to having a raja yoga but certainly it gives wealth you should understand that raj yoga includes power name fame authority prosperity comfort happiness and wealth as well whereas dhan yogas only promise you wealth whereas it can completely deny name fame status power friends right? so this needs to be understood raj yoga includes dhan yoga dhan yoga may not include raj yoga however both of these combinations have their own strength dhan yoga gives you a lot of wealth whereas raj yoga only gives you only sufficient wealth that is needed for that raj yoga to continue for that raj yoga to sustain now understanding a point if in the horoscope there is a positive exchange say ninth lord in 10th house 10th lord in 9th house which is considered the greatest raj yoga or the exchange between fourth lord and the fifth lord the exchange between lagna and the ninth house lagna and the fifth house lagna and the fourth house lagna and the tenth house whatever any of these positive exchanges in the horoscope makes the person have the result of raj yoga this person even born in a bad family having all the bad combinations in the horoscope etc despite all the bad conditions bad situations in the life and despite all the bad conditions and bad situations in the horoscope this person will be very prosperous affluent powerful will have name fame status etc complete result of raj yoga as i have said with the next change between the second house and 11th house it makes a dhan yoga and as i have told before exchange will overpower any result so one having a dhan yoga exchange will have huge wealth despite the other combinations of the horoscope there can be 100 combinations for poverty and just a single exchange between the second house and 11th house and it is done all the combinations of poverty will be useless and person will earn good amount of wealth the problematic part is when the lord of good houses first fourth 10th 5th 9th goes in an exchange with lord of bad houses 3rd 6th 8th and 12th in this particular scenario you have to remember the signification of the houses this is a pathetic scenario all the raj yogas dhan yogas good combinations etc etc will be useless the person will have to suffer a lot in life because as i told you exchange is the most powerful connection and exchange overpowers everything in the horoscope right so say there is an exchange between 10th house and 3rd house 3rd house struggle 10th house protection professional struggle will be there for a lifetime no matter how hard the person works whatever he does he will always have to struggle to secure his profession to get money out of his profession 
to have name fame status in his profession or even to have name fame status in life because these are the significations of the 10000 an exchange between the 10000 6000 indicates that 10000 indicate profession name fame status etc exchange between 10000 6000 indicates the person is constantly troubled by enemies constantly troubled by disease in his professional life and his name fame status etc is greatly harmed by his enemies competitions greatly harmed by diseases greatly harmed by bad deeds despite the fact that the person can be very good despite the fact that the person can be a saint reincarnate you should understand that the result of an exchange is for a lifetime it is free of dasha antar dasha however in the dasha antar dasha of planets involved in the exchange the maximum result of the exchange is felt whereas at other times the result of exchange may not be felt but the repercussion or the building of it is found for an example sixth lord and the 6000 10th house is in an exchange before the dasha of it enemies will build the person will make enmity in the dasha antar dasha these enemies will try to harm his name fame status and professional life will harm it and after the dasha the person will suffer the consequences of it and will keep on suffering now again the dasha antar dasha of any of them in the exchange will come they will again harm after it the repercussions of that harm the person have to bear will be bearing this any combination and works this way suppose you are having a combination for having a good professional life before having the dasha antar dasha or in other words activation of the combination the skills for getting a good job the qualities for getting a good job the essentials for getting a good job will be building in your nature in your behavior around you with the dasha antar dasha that great thing related to professional life will happen and after the dasha antar dasha you will enjoy the good results of the event that have happened dasha antar dasha works this particular way if the 10th lord is very strong and suppose it indicates you having a very good professional life that doesn't mean that out of a blue bill gates will call you and tell hey do you want a job in my company certainly this will not happen so the preparation for the result happens from the starting in the dasha antar dasha actual events come to the play and after dasha antar dasha the after effects of it is enjoyed felt this way it works i think i have talked about the exchange quite well exchange as i have told you before is something that should be very essentially checked and there should be very essentially checked it should be given great importance for an example let me see a few charts this is a horoscope of a person by the name of clifford irving you see in this horoscope mars is in the sign of moon moon is in the sign of mars this is an exchange between 11th house and 8th house 11th house indicates wealth dhan yoga house and 8th house indicate bad result the set of bad house exchange between the 11th house and 8th house despite all the combination you understand it is a debilitated planet in the second house debilitated planets give wealth gemini tells it i teach right lagna lord in the second house right the yeah the second lord is venus which is vargottam despite all these good combinations concerning the second house because of the exchange between mars and moon which is an exchange between the 11th house and 8th house this person went bank this person went bankrupt this person went bank see all the dhan yoga in the horoscope is destroyed this particular horoscope uh, there seems to be no exchange in the chart 
Yeah. So in this or in this horoscope, there is no exchange. When there is no exchange, you don't judge it. The result of exchange is not applicable. Right? No exchange result is not applicable. That is very simple to see. Right? There is no confusion regarding that. So I have given you one example. I think it will be sufficient. Right? There can be many more examples can be given, but this video I just made out of a blue. Right? Someone requested for it, so I just got reminded of the number of requests that I get on these videos. So I have just made it. As I have told you, exchange should be essentially seen if there is one exchange in the horoscope, only that exchange matters. Ignore all other things in the horoscope. If there is a exchange in the horoscope, the complete horoscope, the complete life, the complete fortune revolves around that exchange without any doubt. There are many exchange. There are two exchanges in the horoscope of Indra Gandhi. There is exchange in the horoscope of Jawaharlal Nehru. Many horoscope have exchange. You can check that. Check the results. Remember. The significations of the houses in which the exchange is happening is activated. Mix the signification of these two houses and that is the life story of them. Exchange is the most powerful and the most important thing should be seen essentially. Thank you for watching this video. Taking your time out. Please give your feedback regarding the video, whether it is good or bad in the comment section. Have a good day. Thank you.